It's me, Philbuck, and I'm back with another review. Oh man, and we's got uh, MP26 Road Rage, yeah, and based upon the famous G1 character. Ro oh wait, no, there weren't one. Yeah, but I still think it's awesome that they're finally bringing out a fanbot in the masterpiece line. Yeah, cause um. Yeah, last year in Generations and Legends, they released a slew of great uh, fanbots. You know, you had RC, Windblade, Chromia, and then they brought out Night, Nightbird Shadow and uh, Black Arachnia and uh, Slipstream. So yeah, there was a plethora of fanbots to go around. And so I think it's great that they finally brought one out. My only thing was, well... I'm not the biggest fan of the tracks mold. Yeah, I never got around to do that review, but yeah, it was just kind of, eh. It's good, but, you know, compared to the other MPs, it's just the least of the best, I guess. Yeah, that's the way I'd say it. It is the least of the best. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but she does look good. So let's take a quick look at the box up close. Yeah. And uh, get through this review. I'm kind of excited because it looks good. And I'm hoping it's better than um, tracks. We'll find out. All right. Let's do this. All right. So here's a nice close-up of the box. Just show it. And, of course, showing Road Rage Corvette Stingray C3 PO. All right. I couldn't help that. But, uh, yeah, MP26. And it's basic MP box car mode there. The other side shows a really cool pose for robot mode. And there's the bottom. And then of course we have the back. We shows road rage and all the little stuff she comes with. Flight mode, you know, her gun goes on the bottom. A laser ram. And uh, there's Twincast over there. There, he is. there she is hanging out with a Bumblebee and a Wheeljack and all the stuff she come with. So that's it. So let's go and uh, look inside. Woo! I just wanted to quick show the um, instructions for uh, Road Rage. And uh, yeah, so it's basic. Talks about the Stingray. Here it is, her backstory in Japanesey. Pictures of her, and of course, tech specs here, here. Yep, and if we do the tech specs, because I love tech specs, she is the strength of a six, intelligence of a seven, speed of a seven, endurance of an eight, rank of a five, courage of a nine, fire blast of an eight, and skill of a nine. And that makes me like her even more. I don't know why. I like highly skilled people. And there's a little twin cast that comes with it. Um, right up there. Flight mode. Laser ram. And then her uh, plasma discharger. Right there. So, uh, yep. There is... Um, yeah, and the other side is just the instruction part. But there is road raid. So let's just get to the figure. All right. All right, now I just really quickly want to show what what's the difference between Road Rage and, of course, Trax. And uh, what they come with, you know, there's a color difference. Trax, he came with the stand. Blaster, the little cannon for the front. 
Raul right there. Of course, he's got his card and his gun. Whereas over here, Road Rage, she has, okay, where'd it go? There it is. Twin Cast, okay, the little blaster in front. There's her card and there is her gun. So she did not come with a stand. So there you go. And if you back up just a little bit, yeah, you can kind of see almost all of it in there. So that's the differences right there. So let's get back to the reviewing. Woohoo! And here is Road Rage in her vehicular mode looking pretty fantastic. Like, really? I love the Corvette and especially this style and it's a stingray c3 yeah just like uh tracks and it just looks fantastic i mean it really looks great i love the uh roof where um well it has to be transformed because the head blocks it but uh you can flip it around to get the autobot symbol i love that they did that little bit I and mean, if we come up here even there seeing the corvette symbol on it right here at the back nice details of course, could use some repro labels, but what can't? But right there, it just looks amazing. Really amazing. And so, let's just compare her to Trax. And, you know, both same car, just different color. Trax had the nice metallic blue. I, I really did like that. So, right there, the two of them side and back to back. Right there. So there the two of them are. So uh, let's just go and we'll get them into their flight mode and take a look at flight mode. Woo! All right, so let's get Road Rage into her flight mode. So we're just gonna flip her over and we're gonna pop out the wings. We'll just put them to the side right now like this and then we're gonna get our arms and pull out our arms. When we do that, this top part's gonna automatically disconnect. They wanna lift that up so then we could pull out the arms like that and then we're also going to go and swing uh, these lasers out for right now we'll put we'll put them back in in a second but then we just take this flip this part back down because we're going to back into position snappy snappy come on don't fat road rage that's not nice so Get her back into position, right there. Okay, flip this. Straighten out her arm, and then right there, where that tab is, it just plugs right in on the bottom there. Same thing here. Straighten out the arm, so straighten it there, there. And then where you see the tab, clips in right there, and then the wings, we're gonna rotate it this way, and then put it down. Rotate it this way, put it down, and then these um, lasers, they're supposed to, so the back should be about the same, just angle these. And this just helps when you're getting her from this to the robot mode. And there, oh wait, I almost forgot one thing. Oh, one important thing. Forgot it on tracks too, and that is the little ram gun, I think it's called. And you just take it, and the ram gun goes, yeah. On the ram, on the ram gun, there's two little pieces. They go to the top, and they push down. So there you go. There's the, there is flight mode for um, road rage. So it's just like a simple, extra silly mode that you know did they did use in here, holding it up. And this is what, one thing that's really good about tracks, like I said. He has his uh, stand. So there they are together flying around and looking awesome. So let's uh, go and get him into robot mode. All right. All right, and this here is called the Laser Ram. I think I said it was a Ram Laser. I forget what I said, but uh, yeah, it's the Laser Ram. In the front. All right, so let's just get her into her robot mode, so all you have to do is undo the arms. And we come over here and we're gonna separate this part. And we can rotate it because yeah, we'll just start working on that. And then we can come over to the sides and we can take out the sides here and separate the legs. 
and we'll just pull those guys down like this and this guy we're gonna pull up the leg and then rotate down and push in so again so this comes out pulls that out and then you gotta move the leg just a little bit to get it past and then you lock them back in over here and then you take this part and rotate it and lock that into place so this part gets rotated move to the front and goes right into place right here like this all right now we've got the hold on let's come over here make sure these uh, go to the back and here's the chest we can move the chest and we'll flip out the head here and also the Autobot symbol flips out there and we're going to get the doors and you open up the doors this way outward we'll go to the back again and now we're going to take it you got to move the arms up just a little bit all right and if you see there's the little peg here and it's going to go there's one here and another one right over here and that pegs in there so again when we do it you got to kind of move the arm out of the way and then you're going to just plug it in like that there you go all right and then for the front the uh, the shoulders they plug in if you see up top here there's that little there's a little hole right there in the shoulder and a little white plug just plugs right in there and there like that her head comes forward of course she got the guns over here move them up and we're gonna move this backpack and the slot right here on the side that's where they plug in so one goes over here one goes over there that plugs in Rotate these guys out to the sides. And then in like this, yeah. Tilt the wings. So you got the arms, the wings, the head. Rotate the waist this way, and then we'll just get the arms. So you just go, rotate it this way, and then over on this side, you just push it through on that side. So same thing here go rotate slide it through and there you go and there you have road rage in her robot mode so uh yeah let's go and get a closer look Phew, that was hard work now here we have the super awesome head sculpt of road rage i i love that head sculpt i it's really fantastic, and I really, really love this figure. I just really some great, great head sculpt, great design work. I think the transformation is a little not my favorite transformation, but I really like the look of her, and uh, yeah, the fact that she is the first masterpiece female masterpiece transformer that I can think of yeah as far as I know unless I'm forgetting something yeah and really looks fantastic and in my opinion better than tracks that's just my opinion I and mean, I like tracks but here he is with his stand but uh yeah if we look at the two of them side by side you could really see some differences and not just color differences and actually she ends up looking better for it because if you look he is very um, rectangular I mean even his head design everything is really square squared off where she has um, smoother her arms are smaller whereas if you look at his they're just rectangles rectangles the arms are smaller even the hands are thinner than his, you know, the lower legs, this waist part is not just a block. And I know they were staying true to the um, cartoon, the G1 cartoon, but actually with Trax, I like him, but he's my least favorite masterpiece. 
And I say that with all seriousness. I mean, she definitely jumps way over him in my view. Just really a great looking figure. And it's not just the red, it's just all the way around. I, and I think it's because it's broken up. It's not just square, square, square. It's that, you know, she actually, and he's being blocked a little by his stand, but not that much. Yep, so there you go, and back to the front. So, oh no, I just pushed her head down. Yep, so there you go, and let's go and take a look at Road Rage, a little closer look. And, uh, yeah. One thing is her weapon, which if you just try to take it and put it in the hand like you would normally, you will find that it will always fall out. That's because you must turn her hand upside down. Because there's a groove in the back there and there is a peg. You can see the main handle and then another peg. The peg actually locks in that way. So to put her gun in, you have to do it that way. But uh, yeah, her articulation is just like Trax. You know, got the shoulders, which have the sway. Her head is on a ball joint and will lean back like that. You got almost 360 there. You got the little tilt. You got this to the side. You've got 360 under that shoulder, 90 degree elbow. The wrist swivels, the hand opens up. The waist goes all the way around. Forward there, back to there. Knee is a little less than 90 degrees, and then tilt for the foot. And also she does have, you know, the sway over here. So there you go. Pretty awesome figure. So let's go to the summation. How red. All right, time for the summation, and I have no idea what to do now. Yeah, because I really like the look of this figure, and I'm happy that they finally, finally, finally made a fembot to hang out with all the other MPs. Yeah, but it's based off of the tracks mold, which, well, I'm not a big fan of because of it, the way his upper body goes together. The shoulders, the arms, you know, the head can just flop right back when you go to manipulate the toy. You know, I mean, it's just kind of doesn't feel solid and well put together. And that's why I'm not a big fan. It is the least of the best, as I think I said earlier. Yeah, and that's kind of how I feel about this. But I think she jumps ahead of tracks, actually. Because instead of being all rectangular and square, well, they rounded off the legs and the upper part of the arms, the face, and that little chest piece that's white on there. Yeah, that's different from Trax. So they kind of went and tried to round things off, and it makes her look a little more aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Great head sculpt, and I really want to like this figure. But then they didn't give her the stand but they still charge more money for her. <sighs> back and forth, back and forth. In one way, I really like it. In another way, I don't because Trax mold, yeah. So is she nice? Yeah, nice. Is she shiny? Well, shiny, kinda. Is she good? Kinda. Doesn't mean I'm gonna eat her. Uh. Well, it's like if you like what you see and you like the Trax mold, then you will like her. If you didn't like the Trax mold and you pick her up, it's a 50-50 chance. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, maybe, that's the best way to say it, maybe. Uh, am I going to eat her? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like an instant, yes, 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 bye, 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 I need it. It's kind of just like, eh, I, I likes it. <sighs> but I'm not like enthused about it. So it's kind of okay toy, but yeah, maybe just snack a little bit. Um, 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 um. Tastes just like tracks. 
Not bad. Not bad. <sighs> we need to find some tastier toys. Um, bye!